Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Shout out to my subscribers. I appreciate you guys. If you have not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can hang out with me every time I upload a video. Alright guys, so this is my review. Married at First Sight, Season 10, Episode 16, Decision Day. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into the actual decisions. Because in the beginning, you know, they were doing a lot of flashbacks. Um, everyone talking about, you know, how they're feeling and they don't, you know, they haven't made up their minds yet, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So let's start off with Jessica and Austin. Um, so they show up and they have their little small talk with the experts about how they're feeling, the good, the bad. Of course, you know, Jessica's still struggling with Austin having to travel, um, for his job and basically what it all boils down to in my opinion she just has separation anxiety you know she's been alone for so long and she was saying she um worries that you know him being away it kind of it interfered with their bond and being as though they're newlyweds and whatever so they decided to stay together um they both said yes and austin finally said i love you now me personally, I felt like, well, okay, I knew if he was going to say yes, they to stay married. I knew he was going to say I love you. He, it was just, it's kind of predictable. Like if you stay with her, he was going to say it. I kind of feel like it was pressure. Um, come when you think about it. Jessica has been hounding him since the one month anniversary because that's when she's like really started bringing it up and then the experts you know throughout and then on decision day they brought it up again and yeah I mean he said it and it was funny because all this time she's been you know like I said hounding him about it and as soon as he said it it was like oh okay you know anyway so yeah I um I don't feel any way about them staying together. I, there were moments during the eight weeks I was not feeling Jessica. Um, but yeah, I don't have any feelings either way about them staying together. You know, good for them. Jessica looked really pretty. I liked her outfit. Um, moving on to Taylor and Brandon. <laughs> okay, so Taylor shows up first. She's talking to the experts for a while. And then Brandon finally shows up. I knew he was coming. Brandon Brandon loves to grandstand. He likes the suspense. He likes to be talked about and have people wondering, oh, is he going to show up? Oh, where's Brandon? He, he likes that whole thing. So he um, finally shows up and the shit show started. You know, he comes in very smug, you know, just, I don't know. He, 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 Brandon was being an asshole, to be honest. Um, so the experts were asking him, I think it was Pastor Cal was like, you know, I guess there was rumor that he didn't know if he was going to show up or not. And he was like, yeah, you know, he wasn't sure because at the resort well at the retreat you know the issue remember when he was trying to leave to get back to work and he was saying production made him late and he just went back and forth he blamed production for making him late for work twice and he was pissed off and he felt like you know they had an understanding and they didn't care and whatever so while they're talking out the blue brandon is like um i have to go to the bathroom just just being a a, a uh, okay so everyone was looking like what first of all you just got there so you relate you could have used the bathroom before you got there or when you got there before you walked in the room because he literally was sitting there for like not even five minutes before he was like i gotta go to the bathroom so pastor cal was like you can't wait like really dude really no nah, I, I i have to go to the bathroom okay so he goes to the bathroom then he's like nitpicking with the crew <laughs> on his way back. You know, he spoke to them, but you could tell, you could tell he was like trying to be funny. 
you know, he was like, hey, you know, smiling. Because I know he, him and production have not gotten along. So, yeah. He comes back in the room. And it was almost like he wanted them to wait on him. You know, like, oh, y'all made me late for work. And y'all didn't make things easy for me. So, you know, you showed up late. So, it's like, you know, wait on me. Then when you get there, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. So, y'all going to wait on me again. He was just, he was just being just crazy. So, he comes back. He sits down. And, you know, Taylor was just talking about how there was good sides of him but with everything that's going on she decides to get a divorce and Brandon seemed shocked which was shocking to me because now I know Taylor said they had been spending time together off camera but of course you know we saw from the security camera inside the apartment that they spent time together and i i mentioned in my last review how because she keeps saying oh he's different when we're off camera you know we spent time together to me and i mentioned in my last review it seemed like yeah they were spending time together he was coming up to the apartment but to me it seemed like taylor was the one that was being more affectionate and she damn near was kind of I don't want to say forcing him but she he wasn't touching on her or initiating things and this is what I see on the camera she was taking his hand and guiding guiding it to touch her she was the one laying all over him butt cheeks out trying to entice him like he was just there chilling so it just seemed like to me it, there was never this physical I don't want to say attraction but he just didn't he never seemed physically interested in her if that makes sense and I'm talking straight from the honeymoon up until the security cameras in the apartment he just didn't seem like he was just physically into her and I don't I don't know but anyway but he seemed shocked that she said no and I'm trying to figure out, like, did they have a conversation? Did he think that because he was coming over and spending time with her? That, I don't know. I don't I don't know. Because he seemed like he was over her when they met up with Dr. Pepper and um, the resort. So I was shocked that he was still coming over to hang out with her. But anyway, I, this, this show is over with, so I'm not even going to try to make this a long <laughs> a long video um but anyway he was pissed and he left so as he was leaving now he was like you know this is one of the worst or most difficult relationships he's ever had and you know whatever so that was done and over with moving on to mike and mika now this was the couple i will say out of all of them i was a little worried about because the last you the last two episodes i believe mika act like she was you know getting excited she was saying you know mike was showing up as a quote-unquote husband um you know she just seemed like she was falling for the bs you know so i was i was a little worried like mika i hope you are not falling for this and this dude literally just started talking to her in the last two days because remember, she was like, he wasn't even talking to her. You know, nothing has changed. And then all of a sudden, you know, there he told her, he put in his two weeks notice. They're having fun, having, you know, getting along. And she's like, oh, he's giving me what I've been asking for. So, yeah, in the last two days out of eight weeks. Anyway, so um, they went through the whole, you know, flashback showing clips going over some of Mike's lies and Mika goes first with her decision she decided to divorce which I was very happy that she did um and then Mike seemed shocked as well and upset because he decided he wanted to stay married he said he did not believe in divorce and you know he was like he admit to 
everything you know of course he gives excuses about his lying and um yeah he was saying he said that he was disappointed and i'm just thinking i'm like mike you really just started acting like a husband right you said like a husband just like a decent human being the last two days so i don't know i don't know how he thought that the last two days of what he was giving her was going to cancel out the last eight weeks of lying and manipulation and silent treatment it's like come on now but he said at one point he act like he was about to hyperventilate he was panting he was moving in his seat and like he was trying to force tears but um yeah so she was like you know i'm over this and um yeah so they're they're getting a divorce so they they walked out Derek and katie uh, okay from ever since the the retreat okay we are we, we saw what went down at the retreat when Katie met with her dad and her stepmom, to me, from that meeting onward, Katie has been negative about, she's been pretty negative about her relationship and her views on Derek. Um, even on decision day, I mean, she sat there in front of this, this man and basically was like, she feel like they're just friends there's no emotional connection um when she said to me what really did it is when she said that you know like i said they're 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 like friends they have a friendship she was like and i quote there's no desire to run home to spend time together there's no desire to stay up late and spend more time together and she's had that in past relationships so in other words he's just okay there's nothing exciting i'm not even rushing to, to come home and spend time with him that was a slap in the face and, and and i felt like it was unnecessary honestly to say it was almost like she was intentionally i don't know if she was testing him i don't know I personally feel like Katie would have went either way. She, I think, had she gone first, I don't know. I don't know. I think she would have went along with whatever Derek said. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost like Katie wasn't sure if he was going to pick her or not. So, she was just throwing all these things out there. But I just felt like it was so, I mean, I. I'm all about being honest, you know, if she feels like there's no passion there or they feel like they're friends, I just think like some things just wasn't necessary to say. But anyway, um, so Derek went first with his decision. He said yes, which I, I was a little disappointed because I really, I just, I'm just not feeling Katie and I feel feel like katie is not into Derek. i think that he is a convenience for her you know the health insurance um the constant sex buddy i just feel like he's a convenience right now he, he's he's a right now guy for her until she can find something else you know what I mean? I, I just, that's how I've been feeling for a while. Um, I think if Katie, and I, and I kept saying to myself, I'm like, if she stay, it's for the insurance and because her ex is not ready to commit to her. Katie is not into Derek. And I'm beginning to believe the sex is not good. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously, because when it's good, you're not acting like that. She acts like she could take him or leave him, you know? Um, yeah, so they decided to stay together. I do not see them lasting, but, um, yeah, so moving on to Zach and Mindy, I don't know why they were there. I mean, you know, Mindy already decided that she, the marriage wasn't working. 
But they had him on there anyway. And I was like, because y'all know when they show the previews. And I'm thinking, I know she is not entertaining taking this dude back. But she didn't. She looked great, by the way. Um, and she stood her ground. And I was so happy that she did that. She seemed very confident. She seemed very proud of herself and her decision. And I really was impressed with how she carried herself and what she was saying. I was very, very impressed. It was a totally different Mindy from um, early on in the show when she seemed desperate and, you know, insecure and just a doormat basically except for when she had drinks when mindy when mindy had some drinks to her she was she was time enough for zach um anyway so zach of course he talked in circles the experts didn't even look like they were into what he was saying pastor cow was like scratching his eyebrows and looking under his fingernails to see what was that i mean they were just like okay yeah here we go um, Pastor Cal did ask him, was he on the show for exposure? And this is not the first time. I think Dr. Viviana asked him when she met with him after Mindy, um, called it off. I know the question was posed to him before. So to me, it's apparently the experts feel like that's why he was on the show. But of course he denied it. Um, you know that he wouldn't even he wouldn't use that platform to get exposure i beg to differ but anyway so they left the same way they came separated um after decision day everyone met up for dinner everybody but brandon which is no surprise um katie and Derek signed a lease so they're moving in together austin and jessica you know they are trying to work things out as far as him traveling. So they're doing the whole video chat situation. They haven't found a place yet. Um, they're still, you know, in the apartment that they have from the show. Mike was looking uncomfortable sitting there. You know, I don't know if he talked and they just edited it out. But he, he did show up. You know, I'll give him that. He did show up. But, yeah, he looked like he was uncomfortable. Um being there everyone else was having a good time so they all cheers and you know new friendships and all of that good stuff um and that was it now for the previews for the review looks looks real juicy okay i can't wait for the reunion so from what i got from that people having affairs look like katie had an affair but now you guys know how they do editing okay so it can look it it looks like Derek is saying Katie had an affair while they were married, but who knows? I don't know. Because the way they edit stuff, it'll be something totally different. And then there's two people from the different different marriages who explored being more than just friends. Now, that's interesting. Um, of course, I was trying to do process of elimination, right? Because I'm like, okay. Derek mentioned Katie having an affair. Again, with editing, we don't know if this affair happened um, during their marriage. But if it did, I'm assuming it's over between them. So could it be Derek and Taylor been talking? Because we know it's not Mike and anybody. Nobody's messing with Mike or Brandon. And I don't think any other ladies would even give Zach a thought. So, or could it be Taylor and Mika? Like, I mean, think about it. Because I can't see Austin and and um, Jessica, even if they break up, I can't see them, either one of them, messing with somebody else from um, the other couples. I can only, and nobody wants Katie. I can honestly see... Derek and Taylor or Taylor and Mika or Brandon and Mike I don't know <laughs> I mean that's let me think would Mindy mess with one um no I can't see any of the guys interested in Mindy so yep I'm gonna call it I'm gonna say 
either Katie and Derek broke up and Derek and Taylor got together or Mika and Taylor have explored some things. I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to leave it at that because there was a point where Mike walked off and he was like, I wasn't expecting that. So, we know it's not him and anybody. I, I, yep, that's what I'm, I'm going to stick with. I'm going to stick with that. Mika and Taylor or Derek and Taylor. Let me know what you guys think about the decisions and who do you think explored more than friendship out of the couples all right guys so that is my last review for the actual season i will be back with my review on the reunion and i see that we have i don't know when the new episode the new season starts i know they're in new orleans i contemplating on watching it i more than likely will i keep saying i'm not but i don't know anyway guys thank you so much as always for hanging out with me and until next time take care